Ladies and gentlemen, today with one of soccer's legends, Mr. Brad Davis. First of all, Brad, what brings you back to town? Um, you know, uh, being able to come back and watch a game, um, be able to see some of the old fans, you guys, um, you know, see some old teammates, some fresh faces, and, and some old faces. So, uh, just had the opportunity to come down, enjoy the game, um, be a part of today, and uh, looking forward to it. It's a special day. This is uh, spent 10 years here. This is this is this is my home. Uh, you know, my kids are born here. My you know, my family was here for a long time. So, to be able to come down here and enjoy these uh, these special days like this means a lot. The uh, organization in general has been changing. Ownership, uh, 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 general manager, etc. One of the great ideas, I think, is where we are today, the Autograph Alley, making that connection with Houston Dynamo past, present, and future. Yeah. So that's one of the things that, uh, you know, you're going to see Pat on set. Obviously, everybody knows Pat, the general manager, coming back. Obviously, we were great, great friends, great teammates, you know, and uh, he was a part of those uh, successful years early on when the, when the team was here. So some of those things that we did, um, you know, kind of went away a little bit, but now Pat's here in, a, in, a, in the leadership role as a general manager of the club. He's going to start bringing these things back. A big part of who we were um, in those days, I don't like to make the comparisons, but the big part of who we were was we were part of the community. We were part of the fans. We wanted everybody to feel like we were a family. You know, we won things for everybody. It wasn't just for us or the names on the back of our kits. It was for this community, for Houston. And that's one of the things that I know he's concentrating on bringing back. So it's, it's great, you know, uh, to be able to have that connection again with the community. And that's, that's another reason why we're down here is to try and help bring that back. Brad, you were part of the teams and players that transitioned from Robertson to this building, now called PNC. You scored the first goal in this in this building. Uh, as, as we get older, and I'm including myself, we start looking and thinking about legacies. The legacy you build in Houston to me is huge. Have you ever thought about that or thought about it in those terms? To be totally honest, no, I've never thought about things like that in my whole life. You know, I was just, uh, honestly, I was blessed to be able to be a part of it for so long. Um, I, it was it was an honor for me to put the shirt on every every week and come out here and play in front of the fans and play in a beautiful stadium. We started out at Robertson, and fortunately, fortunately enough for us, we were able to build this, have some success, and really drive, you know, really drive soccer here in this in this town and help and help bring it. You know, to see where it's at today is spectacular. But to think about a legacy, I've never been that type of a person. To be totally honest with you, I look at it as it was a it was a blessing for me to be a part of it, and I'm thankful that I was I was able to be a part of it for so long and. And now to be able to come back and still enjoy it means a lot to me. Mr. Brad Davis, always an honor. Thank you for your time, Thank sir. You. Excellent. Thank you. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, one of the legends of all time in Houston Dynamo history, Mr. Brad Davis.